Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be setting up the November budget for the second pay period in November. And the dates for this uh, pay period are going to be the 15th through the 28th. So I'm working in my life planner and I only have one notes page. Um, I ordered a deluxe monthly, so starting in January I'm going to be using that with more notes pages. But since this only has one right now, I just print out some lined um, paper on on a big sheet of sticker paper and I'm just gonna put it over here on the side so I can use this for my budget my second budget I figured it was gonna show through a little bit but it's not a big deal all right so we're gonna do this budget basically the same as I did for my first pay period budget in November um, and I made a video about that um, I'll make a link for that above here um, if you want to watch that. But this one's going to be a lot less bills than our um, first pay period. We always like to get our bills paid at the beginning of the month, um, even though they may be due later in the month. But we like to get all the bills done and then we put the money into more savings or towards our mortgage in the second half of the month. So that's why our bills are kind of all in the first half of the month. It doesn't mean they're due, but that's when we pay it so that we just get them done and can move into savings and debt for the second half of the month. All right, we're going to start by... I don't really... I'm not going to put a big header or anything since I have it on the other page. I'm just going to put this little clear... Or white strip right here and then I'm gonna put this pay period 2 label on and I'm gonna use the same pen that I used last time this maroon one to mark the dates and so that'll be Make sure I write this correctly. I've been saying it, but yeah, November 15th through November 28th. So, so this is the dates that we're working with now. Now what I'm going to do is get my stickers and I'm going to put down the income sticker. And one thing I noticed, I don't know how big I Okay, I made it the exact size. So one thing I noticed last, I guess last week, like last pay period, was that I only did income for, I put like a line for my income that came twice because I get paid weekly. And then I put one line for my husband and then one line for the Etsy um, income. But then I didn't put an extra like other line and we actually went to the casino and won some money which is awesome so I'm gonna put like an other line for each of these um, pay periods from now on just in case we get some extra income um, like unexpectedly which is probably not gonna happen a lot but it's nice when it does so I'm gonna write down my husband's name and then mine and I get two paychecks for every one that he gets. So I get one, two, and I'm not going to get Etsy this time um, because I only get paid through Etsy once a month. And that was on uh, this first week of November. So I just get paid actually these two days, so the 19th and the 26th. So that's all we have. And then I'll put... Um, other just in case because now that we've been going to the casino and we actually won um, the last two times that we went there so we may be going again sometime my husband really enjoys going in it's like fun date night for us and then I'm gonna put down the expenses which like I said before are gonna be a lot smaller like I had a huge list of expenses 
for the first half of the month, but we're not going to have that many for the second half. And I'll write those before I put the next sticker down so that we know exactly where the total needs to be. So for expenses, I look back on my monthly view and literally we only have one because we're not using this credit card anymore. So since this credit card's done, we only have this, the water bill, and that's our only bill. Um, obviously we're going to be spending more money within these two weeks, but what we do, we usually use the credit cards um, and then pay. we'll pay it next month. So that's not on this month's budget. Um, so we actually kind of do it like a month behind on our regular expenses and like a we pay off the credit cards at the beginning of the month then. So that's all I'm going to put for this. We have the water and I don't think there's anything um, like special going on this month and we're not even going to, for Thanksgiving we have some of my family coming but that's about it. So we're not expecting to spend too much. Um, we will probably spend some for Cyber Monday or Black Friday, but those are like, that's like Christmas expense. Um, and it'll, like I said, go on the credit card, so that's not in this budget either. We have a, like a, we have an amount that we have an idea of how much we're going to spend for that, but I'm not budgeting for that in, in any of my pay periods yet. All right, so now I'm going to put unbudgeted. And then put the totals down. I know I do things kind of, uh, seems different than other people since we do use credit cards, but it works for us and uh, we don't spend more than we need to anyway when we're using the credit cards. And we like to because we get the rewards back, so every couple months we get some cash back and so it's like a discount when we pay off the credit card. All right, and after the expenses, we're going to put down savings. And I'm going to put down both of our accounts. So I'm going to kind of go over what we did last time. So last time, this was our expenses. It's We're still in this pay period, actually, so I haven't paid some of them quite yet. That's why some of these are blank, but um, like last time I did all of our expenses plus some budgeted and that worked out well. But savings, we have two savings accounts, so I'm going to put both of them now for this next pay period so that if we do end up throwing things to different um, savings accounts, then um, then I can I have a space for it. Um, but this, I mean this period I know we're saving for our trip to India so all of our extra money is going to go to that account it's not going to go into our emergency savings or anything so that was fine but from now on if as long as I have the room once I get my once January comes it'll be fine but for now I'm just going to put the India account and emergency account all right and we'll put down the total savings and there's no like extra accounts or anything so I don't need to put like, unbudgeted for that or anything and last we're gonna do the debt and since we only have one debt now we don't really need a totals area but I'm gonna just do it anyway so it matches the rest of the page but if you do have like multiple debt, you can put them all here. And this is like, so this is what I do for this. This is not the regular debt payment, like your what you have to pay each month. That would go in the like in the expenses. This is just for any extra money, like throwing towards the principal. So we just have mortgage. All right, 
it. And I'm not really sure what we're going to put towards that right now. I don't think we're going to put any, so I'm going to put zero. And then for the India account, since we put, or we're going to put everything from this last pay period into the India account, um, we should be like fully funded for our trip to India now, so we shouldn't have to put anything else in there. And our emergency fund will be whatever's left over. So water, we have the bill already. This is the one that we um, we just have it taken out automatically on the 19th. Um, it's a local one, and I don't think you can pay it by credit card or anything. So we just we just have set up an automatic payment, so it just gets taken out around the 19th every month. So that's 78.81. And when that comes, um, we can put that here, the actual amount. All right, and that's all I'm going to do for this. So after I do the totals. And then I'll have to go through our income and total that. And then what I'm going to do is take the total from this and subtract 7881 from it and put the rest in here and that's what we're going to try to put all of that towards our emergency fund because we're really trying to build that up. So that, that was all I have for today. Actually, I think I'm going to put this little, I have a little strip of washi. So that's finished. All right. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about how I budget, because I know it is kind of different than a lot of people do, just ask me in the comments below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye everybody.